Hey y'all, let's check out Illustria Resort. Hey y'all, welcome to day 29 of April Diamonds. I'm Shy in Second Life, and today we're going to be checking out Illustria Resort. So let's go ahead and do a quick outfit check, and then we can continue. So I did change this lighting for this um, outfit because we need we need to we need to pay attention to this outfit today. So I got my little earrings on. You know these these some different earrings. You know I know you guys we we've been doing hoops for a, a large part of these videos because I love me a good hoop. Got some of the same um, wrist candy on today. Got my little sunglasses with my little purse, but. We really here for the dress, okay? We're we're really here for the dress. What? Yes. When I tell y'all I've had this outfit for so long and had no clue where to wear it, and then I came across this place and it's perfect. So we'll do a little shoe action. These are some shoes that we have seen before, but I went I feel like they went so well with this outfit. It's really simple with the Va va voom of the dress. So this is the outfit, you guys. We're gonna go back to the shared environment and let's go ahead and continue. So normally a shared environment this dark, I would not keep, but look at this. What? What? Are we looking at this? Are we seeing this, you guys? Oh, magnificent. So this is the Illustria Resort and I, we are going into the Monyard Resort and Bar. Hopefully I am pronouncing that correctly. I panned out and it was the arches for me. The arches for me just absolutely did it. So they have this beautiful bar area with these cute seats. I love it, love it, love it. They have the bartender on site ready to help and take you guys' orders. They also offer, of course, um, rentals here because this is a resort. I love it. Look at these options. I love this stand. Normally they don't have the liquor displayed in this way. And I really, really like how they um, did it this time in this uh, at this resort. Very, very nice. Love it. I love the outfits. They're very futuristic. I love them, love them, love them. I love those chairs. What, what What's the lighting looking like? I love this lighting with all of the sparkles, the same type of sparkles I have. I love them. The lighting here is so romantic. It's just, oh, this is, I'm gonna say this is not a place for kids. It's a moderate Sam, but this is, this is for lovers, all right? This place is for lovers. How elegant and just absolutely mysterious. It's just exuding so much sophistication and allure. I love how each of these little spaces, they have like a singular sitting area where you can just sit. I'm sure they have couple poses. You can just sit and just enjoy the vibes of this space as a whole. They have a nice little teleport system in case you don't want to walk around to find things. You can teleport to certain um, destinations destinations i love this water they have a dance ball where you can enjoy a nice dance um under the moonlight look at this y'all look at the moon's reflection off the water are you are you being serious right now are y'all being serious right now i don't even have a boot and i want to rent a place here it's it's beautiful and you and you absolutely can you absolutely can rent here, even if it's just you. Even if it's just you. I like how they offer like couples seating as well as just one couple seating. So if you wanted to come here, what the food looking like? Cause they ain't came and took the plates away yet. So if you wanted to come here um, on like a double date resort type feel, you can. And then I love these tables. And then if you wanted to just come just with you and someone else, you can do that as well. I feel like this would be a nice place for honeymoons, bridal showers, um like um bachelorette parties and the what are the what are the um bachelor parties just as a nice chill spot for you to come to and just hang out and just enjoy yourself this is a great sophisticated stylish oh 
it's it's beautiful here it's just absolutely elegant i love all the different food options that they have i love the lighting i love how it's just enough lighting for the space look at these trees everything is just so perfect it's like a rocky sand dune type feel it's beautiful i love the tent or like the the like the shelter overhead let's get this shelter over here real quick i'm so excited i'm pressing the wrong buttons and everything so like this to kind of like shelter you in case it's any any leaves that fall down or anything like that it's just oh it's so beautiful here i this is the first part i'm saying and i'm already excited so i love how just mesmerizing they make sure every space is i love the stone stairs and how they separate out the spaces for you so they have different things that you can do you can go for a swim you can do jet skis you can get on the little boats and things like that you can get on a kayak you can dance they have a nice little gazebo with these comfy comfy cushions that you can be under and then you also can just lounge out and just enjoy the views because they have a bunch they have a bunch of views all the views are so beautiful i love that they have the lighting that's like circular and then they have these little globes that are also circular so it just makes everything come together along with the stars in the sky look at the reflection of the rocks off the water uh, they, they did this they, they they did that real big one a, a real real big one hopefully they have some places for rent and we can check out one of them i don't know if they will have any available i'm, I'm guessing probably not I also love how they separated the spaces. So they have a little, is this a helipad? So they have a little helipad um, out down here. I really like how they separated the spaces. So this reminds me of the my last video that um, when we went to that beach and how they had houses that were, were separated. They look like little islands. And I always feel like that's just a telltale sign that you're not supposed to just freely walk over there. And I, that's the feeling that I'm getting here as well. So this land does seem to be very interactive with a lot of different things to do. Um, what is this? Click for bungee jump so you can bungee jump. And we know you can get on motorboats and kayak and things like that. You can swim also. What's in here? Is this a game room? So then they have like a game room. And this could be a game room that they wanted to make for adults only, but it also could be a game room if you wanted to bring a kid here. Um, they can play in the game room as well. But I just personally feel like this is not a space for kids because you really wouldn't have a kid. No, this is an adult space. This, these are adult games because this is an adult game. Darts is an adult game as well. And just the land it gives the vibe of yeah this is a a retreat from the kitties if you have any children in second life this would be a place that you would come where the kids would have to stay at home yeah has a tattoo they regret getting so it's like yeah kids don't have tattoos you know so yeah this is a game room um for adults if you're into that type of thing they they offer it here look at these steps look at this dress with these what what let, let me let me let me look at look at this what what yeah uh-huh that, that's what i said and that's what i meant you know i cannot believe i finally found a place that i could wear this outfit to i literally have had it in my outfits for the longest we're not gonna go up there just yet we want to check this out so they have a beautiful movie theater this is the tv that i was telling you guys about in one of my later videos um, one of my previous videos that I was telling you guys about how I have a TV, but it's not this TV. This is the TV that everybody has. And it's a really, really good TV from what everybody is saying. So look at how pretty they have this. The whole theme is very like moonlit. So they have like the stars on the ground because there's stars in the sky and they use those as like little lamps very very nice they also use it here as a table need to have you some champagne you know get a get a little drink you know 
be feeling a little nice and then come out watch a movie under the stars it's so pretty everything is so sandy and just oh, that's a it's a whole planet i don't know what planet that is it's not a moon i refuse to believe if it, if if they if they say it's a moon it's a beautiful moon but this place i'm gonna say it's a planet because this place is absolutely it's out of this world it doesn't feel like any place that i've ever seen in second life and that says a lot that really says a lot so what's over here oh so after you're done in the game room and watching the movie you can come over here and have a nice relaxing massage and like this little space that like resembles a cave and it's so serene it's so relaxing i love the fire with the little candles i love it everything is just moonlit the lighting is it has a very sensual seductive type lighting i really really like this so this will be like a couple's massage and then i wonder if they offer it for like groups or something maybe not maybe it's just couples massage i feel like this is a place where couples would go i don't think there's anything wrong with anybody else coming if you're coming in a group i don't think there's anything wrong with that at all but i do feel like this space is very specifically for couples and i really really like how they put everything together i love the separation in the spaces I just love all of the little added accents that they have with the hot stones and the massage tables are just wondrous. I love it. I love the lighting. I love how they stuck to specific shapes that also go with the natural sky. So they have a lot of circular things and a lot of stars and just those are mostly like the two main shapes. They have like a moon. So everything is like sky involved so you guys i had to pan around and this was one of the only available rentals that i saw they're asking for 1600 lindens for the week and you get 100 prims look at how magnificent this is i'm not even gonna pan in or nothing like that it i think they like mesh together a couple spaces to create this space and then you get a boat that you can use to come over to the area but just look at how they have everything laid out so well it's so beautiful it's just so beautiful and then is this a moon it's giving moon they have a little moon island is that what this is is this a little moon island y'all it's a moon island they really kept with the theme I love it. The views here are reason enough to come and check them out amongst other things. Look at this. You cannot beat this view. Try. You won't be able to. You cannot. I've never seen anything like this. And I've gone across many, 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 many Sims looking at many, many different lands. And I've never come across anything as spectacular as this space kudos to whoever came up with the idea for this land and kudos for whoever made it a reality so you guys there's still so much to see and do at illustria resort and i hope you guys check this place out um you're gonna have an amazing time here the landmark to this place will be in the description box below so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as i enjoyed bringing it to you guys make sure you all like comment and subscribe and as always I'll see you guys next time.